sorry. Alright, that was the 925 Domus Express I was just on. And I rode it here from Broadview Station. And this is Don Mills and St. Dennis Drive in the neighborhood of Fenton Park. And this car just, this subaru just blocked the crosswalk for no reason. And there is the Ontario Science Center that has recently been, been permanently closed last Friday, June 21st, according to CBC News, just last Friday. So let's watch this bus leaf I was just on. That's my home route. And hello my awesome friends. It is Thursday, June 27th. It is 2.27 p.m. and I think the temperature is around 25 degrees Celsius. And again, this is the intersection of Don Mills and St. Dennis Drive in the, in the neighborhood of Flemington Park, which is just east of Don Mills Road. And looking north will be towards the intersection of Don Mills and Eggleton, which is where the on which is where the science center station is located. And that will be um, and that will be on the Eggleton line crosstown LRT, which will very soon be opening starting next year. So yeah, I came here to quickly make make a video of the Ontario Science Center, just the outside of it, and and again, it's really sad that the Ontario Science Center is, is closing down, although it, although it is permanently closed, and they're going to be um, they're, they're going to be re relocating the Ontario Science Center from here to Ontario Place, which is across from the CNE, just a bit south of the CNE. And you can see they have all these fences closed off. Because they're, they're doing some, I think, some re renovations for this Ontario Science Center. And I used to go there lots and lots of times during a school field trip when I was back in elementary school. But yeah, it's, it's really a shame that the Ontario Science Center is closing down. Thanks to the premium Doc Ford who, 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 made, a, who, who, who made that choice to, to close down the Ontario, the Ontario Science Center. I mean, it, it is, it's, it's crazy. Why would, like, like... I remember going there lots of times for a freaking school field trip and it's a very nice center and um, and again fun memories I had at, at, at the Ontario Science Center but again it is what it is I mean it is worth it but I think that's gonna last for at least a year or two for the Ontario Science Center to relocate from here to Ontario place and that's gonna cost like a lot of money I think it's, I think it's gonna cost like 250 billion dollars are you like I, like, like like that's just that's just waste of, of the environment, waste of money. So um, yeah, I mean I had to go on a bit of a rant here about the about the Ontario Science Center. I mean it looks really nice. I really love the Ontario Science Center. I remember going there with my uh, sister quite a, quite a number of times. And uh, what else? Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's like, it's, it's such a shame that it's going to be closing down. And I remember going to the theaters here at the Ontario Science Center with one, with one of my old friends. That was during my birthday. And yeah, I mean, fun times at the Ontario Science Center I had.
So we'll do a quick peek. Yeah, but there it is. The Ontario Science Center. And according to the website, let me check my phone here. So here it says that the Ontario Science Center is, is, is immediately closing down due to the risk that the 55 year old building building's roof could collapse. Yeah, that's probably the reason why they're, they're, they're closing down the, the Ontario Science Center is because there must be a problem with, with the building's uh, roof. So, so, so that's why they had to, you know, immediately shut down the Ontario, the Ontario Science Center. I mean, it's just like, you know, just, just a waste of the environment. I know I've said it a few times, but okay, well, I'll walk I mean, I heard last Friday that, that according to CBC News, that, that they, they closed off the Ontario, the Ontario Science Center. And the Ontario Science Center opened back on, back on, let me check. I know it was, I know it opened I know it opened back in the year of 1969. Let me just check for a minute here. Uh, okay, Ontario Science Center. So it was opened back on September 26th of 19 69 that was like that was like like 30 years ago if I can easily easily remember although I don't want to go further 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 that down that direction where where the where the security guards are but um maybe we'll do a quick peek from here but yeah again very sad that the Ontario Science Center is closing. I know, I know, I've said it a few times, but again, I'm really sad. I mean, it's 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 sad because so sad that because I remember going there many times. So let's so let's find out the details why exactly the Ontario Science Center is closed. Um, let's see here for a minute. See, it's a good thing I'm filming with my Pocket Two because if I was if I was filming with my iPhone camera, then I would I would I would forget some of the important information about the Ontario Science Center. So that's why I'm using my pocket too, so I can I just have my phone to read some of the specific details about this Ontario Science Center. Uh let's see here. Okay. So um so now 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 the question is why is the Ontario Science Center uh closing? Well because it's 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 due to structural issues with the with the site's uh, with the site's roof. Yeah, so probably this roof here, there must there must be a significant a significant problem. I mean that's all. I mean that's all I know. I mean I wish I wish I could know. I wish I would know more more and more history about this Ontario Science Center. So again, so again, it, it opened back in 1969. That's a really long time ago. Let's see here. Yeah, so sadly I can't go in. And I think the last time I've been I've been inside the Ontario Science Center was probably two years ago or something, if, if not mistaken. But yeah, it looks really empty, and, and, and nobody is even in it. It is just a shame. Thanks to uh, thanks to the Premium Dog Ford once again for making this very terrible decision. But anyways, um, let's take a stroll along Don Mills heading north to Don Mills and Angleton because I do want to check out the Science Center station which will be on which is on the Line 5 Angleton Crosstown LRT and this building here oops this building is the Foresters building. It's the office building located at Don Mills and Angleton.
and I don't think I've ever covered this stretch on my channel before. And there's like lots of traffic along the mills heading northbound. Because I think, oh yeah, because they closed off a, a few right lanes for the for the Ontario Line construction, and and the Science Center station um, will be the northern terminus of the Ontario Line, and that will be and that will be route number three, replacing the Scarborough RT, and again and again rest in peace to the Line Three Scarborough RT. Whenever 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 I I, I say that, it, it always it always reminds me. Of good memories I had with with the original Lion 3 Scarborough RT. So yeah, that was my explanation about the Ontario Science Center, where they had where they had lots of escalators, um, a cafeteria, mo movie theaters, all that sort of thing. There's a Forester's financial building. But yeah, so it's almost the end of June and and I can't wait for this upcoming Canada's Day long weekend. It's gonna, it's gonna be a blast. And um, I heard that the buffet is free on Canada's Day, so at the, at the Mandarin, so I, I really want to. I mean, I'm hoping to check out the Mandarin, where they will offer us uh, freebies, a free buffet, and, and, and you'll get to expect long, long, long lineups because it is free. And um, and again, it's free, like 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 no like like, like no money, no no cost, no payment. It is just free. You can go there, all you can eat, a buffet, a mandarin. I I'm gonna go to the one at Domo's and, Dom sorry, not Domo's. I'm gonna go to the one at Young and Eglinton in Midtown Toronto, aka Johnny Streisand. But yeah, I can tell that, I can tell that the lineup will be extremely busy. So I think it's, so I think it's best, I think, I think it's best for me to, to go there a bit early, but I'll try. Anyways, never mind that. Let's 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 not try to get off to, to to get off topic here. Let's try to at least talk about the Ontario Science Center for a bit, as well as the as well as the opening science center station, which which you will see. And again, I, I do apologize if I'm if I'm talking too fast because I'm just, you know, really annoyed about the on the Ontario Science Center and and and, and how frustrating it, and how frustrating it might be for for those folks who really loved the Ontario Science Center. But it's another lovely day, and I'm, and I'm glad that I'm glad that it's not even cloudy, all that sort of thing. But there is a future opening. Of the Science Center station for the Egerton Crosstown LRT. Man, I can't wait for the freaking Line Five to be open. <laughs> All right, here is Domas and Egerton. So we'll, so we'll check out the other entrance to, to, to the Science Center Station, which again will be the northern terminus for the Ontario line. So I don't think I'll be able to make it to this light. There's only like two seconds, so I'll have to cross here. And just off in the, in the distance, 
you can, you can barely see the Scarborough Belt Tower. That's in Scarborough. So again, Dumbos and, and Eggleton is, is it's not too shabby. <laughs> Only in about 20 minutes before the afternoon rush hour. And of course the graduation ceremonies is just right around the corner. I, actually, actually today it is. Today or tomorrow. For all uh, high school students and university and college students. And again, a big congrats to them for successfully completing high school, college, and university. And hope they, and, and again, wishing them a very, wishing them a, the best of luck in their future success. There's a 34C Equity East West. It's going to be terminating at Flemington Park, and then we'll head back west to Eggleton Station. There's a real Canadian superstore just, just behind the new entrance to the Science Center Station. And this will be a new bus bay platform. And looking west, you can see the Midtown uh, skyline. But what a view that is. All right, let's, let's cross Eggleton East. Here they're doing some construction work for the Ontario line. Or maybe it's for something else, I'm not sure. Either, either the Ontario line or something else. Maybe they're fixing the road here. That's my guess. But check this out. This will be the new bus base at the Science Center Station. For the Line Five the Egerton Crosstown, like when will this when will this freaking Line Five be open? I really want to check out every station on Line Five. Although we'll we'll we'll, we'll start from here. Sorry guys, there we go. But there it is. So I think the 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 uh, construction construction for um sorry for my sorry for my mumbling there, but this but but this construction for the for the for the science center station is almost completed. I mean not quite, but it is somehow very soon. And it's gonna be ser it's gonna be servicing almost almost a lot of the bus routes. That will be the 954 Lawrence East Express, and I think that and I think the 25 Don Mills, the 925 Don Mills Express. But yeah, uh, you can tell that the bus base at this Science Center station is almost quite completed. Not quite, but I would say around like 70 percent completed. But I really like this open space here. A good place to be standing and just to watch a brand new entrance. This is the longest entrance at the bus base at Science Center Station. But yeah, very unique and I can't wait. And they're reinstalling, they're, they're installing new elevators.
So again, the science center station, as I mentioned, will be connected to the Ontario line, and and that will and that would take at least a decade for the Ontario line to be open. And you can see the, these folks, these these construction uh, workers, um, in the progress of 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 building. These new station walls, tiles. Oh, look what I see. There's a, there's a new electric bus. Maybe we'll capture that. It's probably turning right. Wow, look at that. A new electric bus. See, even though even though when I'm when I'm when I'm zooming in, I can barely see it. Look at that. Maybe we'll we'll watch it pass by. Well, that's the 34 Egerton East bus. Man, I wish I I, I could record inside this new electric bus on the 34 Egerton East. But I can't believe I can't believe I'm capturing on camera. Look at that. Looks brand new to me. Just love it. Anyways, here is one last look at the Science Center station on line five. And again, the routes that will be servicing Science Center is the 25 Don Mills, I believe, or I'm not sure. The 925 Don Mills Express, the 9 the 954 Lawrence East Express. As well as the 34 Egerton East, if not mistaken. And I think the 100 Flemington Park. And um, I believe that's everything. Hopefully, hopefully I did not miss any other routes that might be servicing the Science Center Station. But yeah, there's like lots of bloody hell construction everywhere. No matter where no matter where I go to, there's always going to be lots of lots of work going on around the city. But anyways, that was a view of the Science Center Station. So let's head back south towards the Ontario Science Center and then we'll, and then we'll chill there for at least a few minutes and then I'll, I'll probably end my video and then we'll um, yeah, and then I'm thinking I'm thinking of hopping on either the 25 Don Mills or the 925 Don Mills Express, and I'll be heading back south towards Broadview Station. There's the Midtown Skyline, aka Johnny Strideland. There goes 3752. So long, electric. Heading west to Eggleton Station. Let's cross Eglinton East. So again, there are two entrances to the Science Center Station. And along this stretch of Eglinton East, they, they recently uh, uh, create a new bike lane on both sides, one, one on the south side and north side. But yeah, I really love those dedicated bike lanes that they have along Eglinton East in the neighborhood of Flemington Park. Oh, am I hearing sirens? Am I hearing sirens? 
or I guess it, I guess it's gone. <laughs> well, that's a big ass truck. Very, very, very noisy. Oh, good job. Oh, oh it's a fire truck I'm hearing. We all wait. That was loud. That was a 34A Egerton East bus. Oh, head east to Kennedy Station. Whoa, this truck almost. That truck almost hit me while I was trying to cross. Although I should have like crossed fast enough, but that's alright though. I mean, I mean that truck couldn't wait any longer because that that driver was probably in, in a rush. Oh well, never mind that. Let's move on. Um, so yeah, here's one last look at Don Mills and Eglinton. Science Center Station. And there's a sign that says doors locked out. So that means I still can't go inside this new entrance. Very soon though. But I have a feeling that maybe next year this freaking Eggleton Crossing will be open. Then if not, then I guess we'll have to wait an another decade. <laughs> So I think they're still testing the LRV on their way between um, Kennedy to the east and Mount Dennis to the west. But yeah, very, very unique design. And very new futures to the station. All right, heading back south towards the Ontario Science Center, and I'll finish up explaining about the Science Center that will once again be moving to Ontario Place. I know I've talked too fast, but I mean I was just you know. I was just getting a little bit upset, so that's why I had to, you know, go on a bit of a rant here. So who owns the Ontario Science Centre? So the property is owned by the City of Toronto and its Conversation Authority and is leased to the Science Centre. Yep, so the City of Toronto owns the Ontario Science Center. So, so we're heading back south on the west side of Don Mills. We're heading south to um, St. Dennis Drive. And they still have that sign there where it says the Ontario Science Center. That should be taken off. And they should put that sign at Ontario Place. 
So I'm wondering when, so I'm wondering when would the heck uh, will these folks be taking off the sign and moving it to and moving it to Ontario Place? <laughs> For me, I just got super excited about showing you about showing you guys the original Ontario Science Center for the very last time. And again, it's located on Thomas Road, a few blocks south of Egerton East, and the new entrance to the Science Center station. And so far, I'm not seeing that many humans. I guess they're probably at work, school, or at a at a graduation ceremony. But again, best of but again, best of luck to those students in the in the near future. Yep, there it is once again. So I so I can only show you guys the outside, not the inside, because these because um, because because these uh, fences have closed off for some uh, maintenance on moving this science center place to Ontario Place. <laughs> yeah, even says here no. Trespassing, only prior property only. Although I think you're allowed to park, to park a car right here, you see like a few cars that are parked just outside of the Ontario Science Center. But yeah, it's closed, unfortunately. And you can and you can and you can visit their website at Ontario at OntarioScienceCenter.com. I'll definitely link that in the description below this video so you guys can check it out so again it's on so again it is ontariosciencecenter.com yeah so i'm just doing one last look at this very old science center Oh, I see. I see someone heading towards the entrance. Although, although they they, they did say that um, it was permanently closed due to um, due to the due to um, the Ontario Science Center roofs um, uh, issues, so so um, there there must have been issues with the roof is at least 55 years old so at least 55 years ago that this ontario science center has opened so it's september 25th 1969 but yeah 
And again, I, I really apologize if I'm if, if I'm repeating things all at once because I mean that's all I can I mean that's all I can tell you guys about this Ontario Science Center that that used to you know that used to be open to the public, but now it, it but now it is closed to all um, to all guests, uh, families, friends, you know, and and especially myself. So I remember. So I remember. So I remember the last time I, I, I've been to the Ontario Science Center was at least a year or two, or was it? Or I think it was three years ago. I think I think it was three or four years ago when I, when I did not have a YouTube channel. And yeah, I mean, I, w I, I wish I wish I could check out the inside bef before it was closed. But then, I mean, if that was the case, I would have at least made a video inside the Ontario Science Center and doing a, a nice brief tour around it so yeah I mean yeah I mean very sad and I mean I'm I'm for me I'm, I'm really sad right now because I, re I really love the Ontario Science Center and and, I, and I'm sure any, any, of you, any of you guys that are watching this video you'll be like oh I really love the Ontario Science Center it's been so unique very you know well designed but again it is what it is and so I'm wondering, so 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 here's a question: I'm, when will this Ontario Science Center be exactly? Will be will be exactly be moving to on to Ontario Place? I know I know, I know that for a fact that this Science Center will be will be will be moving to Ontario Place. But the question is when exactly? So let's check that out. And um, when will the Ontario Science Center uh, be moving. So here it says that the government had promised to keep the keep the science center open. Oh, okay. So in its current location until a new facility is built at Ontario Place. Oh, so in about in about four years from now, starting in the year of 2028 is when the, the Ontario Science Center will be moving from here to Ontario Place. So yeah, so yeah, according to the government, um, they, they promised to keep the Science Center open. Although, although according to the science, it says Permanently closed, oh, and and um, I, and again, I can't go inside. But um, but yeah, and and again, according to this website here, it says the new center would be located next to a private spa plant by by Therm, the Austrian company awarded a ninety-five year lease by the province. Wow. All right, so now I, I I remember I remember for next time that starting in four years from now, the Ontario Science Center will be moving to Ontario Place. Not now; it is too early, so so they're still um, so for now they're gonna so for now they're gonna keep this science center here at this location at Dumbos and Angleton, just for uh, just for the next four years while while they uh, finish doing some renovations for it. Well, not well, well, not well, not renovations, but just to make sure that, um, just to make sure that um, they know what they're doing about, and 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 also to to be figuring out how will they move this Ontario Science Center to Ontario Place. So yeah, that's that, that's gonna be a lot of hard work, and and it's just a waste of money, waste of waste of the environment. I know, I know, I've said that. At the beginning of my video, but I know. I mean, I. Have, I mean, I do have. To, I mean, I do have to say it again, just, 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 uh, just in case you guys may forget. And um, yeah, I think that's about it for this one. So again, I want to thank you all so much for watching this video, where I checked out the Ontario Science Center that will, will, will that will soon be moving to Ontario Place in in the next four years. I mean, it has been um, 
a very informative video that, that I put in. So I'll be waiting for either the 25 Don Mills or the 925 Don Mills Express and I'll be heading back south towards Broadview Station. And please let me know your, your thoughts and comments down below this, this video. Let me, know what you, let, me, let, me, let me know your thoughts about the Ontario Science Center. And um, if you wish to support my channel, there is a super thanks button that's below this video. And um, I also have an Instagram account at Japan TTC Explorer as well. So yeah, and that's just that. So I hope so. I hope everyone has a great Thursday afternoon slash evening. Happy Thursday and and happy um, yeah happy uh, happy the last several days of June <laughs> before um, before the first day of July. And um, yeah, we will see you guys next time as I wait for the twenty five. Or the 925 Don Mills Express. And again, goodbye to the Ontario Science Center. We will you will definitely be missed at this location. Alright, now I see my bus coming. I'm gonna take the express, the one behind the 25B. Yeah, that one's too packed. All right, ciao for now. I'll be heading south to Broadview Station.